Now, I guide you through all the other ports and accessories you can assemble into your board. Follow me! Here's what you need to use all the power and flexibility of Udo X86. First of all, let's add the CPU fan. You need to plug it into the right connector, the one with the label fan. Then we need a screwdriver to screw it on top of the heatsink. The fan is automatically handled by the BIOS, where it's possible to choose its behavior. Moving on to the various connectors, we'll find the bricks. You'll connect them directly into the Intercury via its own cable. Thanks to the cascade configuration, you can add more bricks one after another. The TRRS 3.5 jack connector allows you to use your own pair of headset. If you want to embed the speaker into your case, you can plug them to the pre-amplified speaker connectors. Remember, if you want, you can use up to 8 ohm speakers just like this one. What if you need to add more storage to your board? No problem, you can use an external SATA drive. To do so, use these two connectors behind the board. In the white one, plug the power cable, while in the black one, plug the SATA data cable. You do X86 allow you also to use a 3 4K display at the same time. In fact, besides the HDMI connector, you do X86 also includes two mini DP++ ports. Also, if you want cable connection, you can use the Gigabit Ethernet port. Now, let's turn our board upside down. Here, you can add a micro SD with our favorite OS on it. Thanks to the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 4.2 module, you can use any kind of external Bluetooth device, just like our awesome Udo Blue. Here, you find the IR port. With this little guy here, you can power on the board. And with this button, you can master reset the Arduino side. Thanks for watching and don't move, we have other surprises for you.